Yeah, okay, that looked like a two minute break, not a ten minute break, but whatever. That's the same thing. So, for... I mean, I'd say I'd upload this separately from the other one on YouTube, but I, I'm probably just gonna do it all at once because daily videos are not that important right now. <clears throat> yeah, let's get back in this. This is going fairly okay, not great. Um, early game, I have a habit of just running down manpower and staying out of manpower. Which is probably typical, but... Yeah. <laughs> it, the nobility being pissed at me isn't helping either. Which is something I should have thought about before being an idiot and giving them too much. I should have run the math really quickly beforehand. So, let's give you back to 49, wait, 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 what, what has high manpower in here? I think it was Radrico, 550, <clears throat> yeah, 550. Probably the best bet. Still pissed. Hmm, because I just integrated a new country. Yeah. Is it 550? Yeah, so they're getting this. Yep. Alrighty. And the clergy. What? 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 I forget what the clergy do. I think they're... Aren't you just, like, bad? Yeah. Oh, welcome to run... Unrest reduction. Great. Like the... The burgers. <clears throat> they boost local trade power and local goods produced. So they're very good. And the nobility increase the local manpower modifier. Really good. Then you get... The church and remove local autonomy for a local tax modifier. Wait, does that mean that you help taxes or that you hurt taxes? That is not very clear at all. Post war tax for oh yeah yeah. So this is the worst thing I have here. Hold on. Iron, glass, cloth, iron. Okay, well, you can have that, I guess. Not happy about it, but you can have it. So, intention is to start saving up in the treasury to embrace this institution when it's done. Right. Yeah, and this is a ways off unless I invest, which I will. Wow, I'm still significantly ahead of time. Okay. Generally, um, of the community that I've noticed, it's hugely frowned upon to go ahead of time with tech, even though it feels really cool, just because those mana points, as these are called, the, uh, Power points are better used elsewhere. Which is okay, but yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, I could also start building up for this, but let's not do that. Yeah, get money, make the burgers mad, or fuck the church. I mean, we're already. Hussites. We've already kind of forsaken the church in many other regards. So, why why not? Mm -hmm. Profiteering in Radabor. So, Ravensburg would like me less. I care not. Uh, Radabor would get... Local goods produced. Decrease. What do you produce? Iron. But your trade power would go up. Uh, 
Uh, this is the uh, Swedish music that I didn't thought, didn't think that I had. It's, it just sounds like a drunk guy singing. That's how Swedish sounds to English people, I guess. I, it's charming, but it's also kind of annoying after a while. I'm just gonna take this because trade power in that node is not super important anyway. I kind of hate the trade game in Center Europe because everything's just getting filtered here. I would say to here, but really you're not getting any trade down here from up here. Genoa, really, like, all of this just gets swooped in towards here, and everybody along the way just trying to grab tiny pieces, and there's so many tiny merchants at play here that, I don't know, it it just feels clusterfucky, and not particularly fun, not like the competition really has any real bearing on the game. Like, there's a really cool history of the merchants who uh, made their living and plied their trade along these trade routes and were wildly successful, but it's not really well modeled by just like, oh, stick this man here and he'll trade there forever. Like, this, these, these aren't even companies. These are, this is Vladimir Polzik. And he will live from 1444 until 1820. These should really be company names or family names or something like that because it is super fucking weird for them to live that long. Um, the, um, the diplomats also have names and colonists don't. Maybe they do. The colonists might. The missionaries might. I really think that the names for these should be just replaced with company names or something that could... M you know, reasonably be imagined to be something that would last for hundreds of years. Not a person's name. Now, granted, a, a company could be named after a person, but... I don't think so, in this particular... ...circumstance. Don't think that really qualifies. Now, I am interested why advisor culture and religion matters. Or if it matters at all. Hmm hmm hmm. Tax in 50% off, I'll take it. The Saxon. I don't know, maybe just to provide variety and a little bit of immersion based on like the cultures you have in your your nation it's cool i just don't know if it matters and if it doesn't matter then it's strange that they spent so much time on it not strange charming but yeah cool window dressing i don't know what effect it it might not have any here it might be in um Muslim courts that it matters more having infidels but even like hmm hmm I was going to say like oh wouldn't it be cool if like part of humanism unlocked advisors of different religions so you could use them and maybe they could be better at things but like why would they be better at things and the way the advisor system works is already pretty um I don't know, pretty bland. And these these people have names, but they don't matter. Um, unless they're funny, then the names matter. Yeah. Maybe maybe they're trying to get more towards a Crusader Kingsy vibe with these going on, like they have with the leaders in adding traits and making it so like Oh well, you change the religion to something I don't like, so I'm gonna start giving you bad events, or something like that. Now, I'm totally interested in going back to war with them once my allies are game. <laughs> who, who else are you rivaled with? Venice and the Ottomans. The Ottomans are not willing to ally me, and Venice is not because... 
your neutral my navy sucks well you got me there um how about you your opinion about me is not great but if i fix that because i'm now anything austria yeah This is all part of the Slovakia, yeah, region, region, or state. That's good, because I have this, so I might as well get the full state. Um, okay, yeah, let's just let this roll on by. Now, arguably, I should be firing people so I can save up enough money to embrace this institution. But I'm already actually fairly close, so I think I'll let that slide. I... Man, that... that doesn't look good. Ideas Pragmatism. Someone... someone in QA graphic design should really clean that up a little bit. Innovative line break ideas. Maybe this is all supposed to be one line because King Elector is a longer title than most? I don't know. That's not that big of a thing to catch. Hardly game breaking, though um, the subreddit meme is that I should say it's literally unplayable. But that's for typos more than line misalignments. I don't care about your spy network. That event's pretty stupid. I, I care zero about spy networks until the part of the game where they can start raising unrest in your country and then it's just annoying. But up until that point of the game, like, oh, you got a claim on me. Who cares? It, it matters not. Oh, don't, don't do that yet. Yeah, yep. Yeah. So, stop doing this, and I'm not going to click on this until army is back up to full strength. So, the Catholics in Bohemia seek our aid. But, like, what, what if the Catholics in Bohemia were just, like, real cool and didn't cause any problems? What, what if that, guys? What, what, what if you just let us say goodbye to your Pope? and do our own thing. There we go. Fight for fair. Desperate for aid. You're missing a comma there. Desperate for aid, comma, our Catholic rebels have turned to the King of Hungary for protection. The Catholic estates have now elected Mat Mat Matthias? Is that your name? Matthias to be their king and are eagerly awaiting the arrival of Hungarian armies. Mm. Mm. The estates of the core of our kingdom, however, remain loyal and condemn the actions of the Catholic interlopers. I mean, to be fair, this used to be Hungary. Although the people uprising are, oh, whatever, whatever. They get a claim on Bruno. Renault on Oumuk and the Silesia area, so this whole area. Eh, and they already had something on that. Cool, they won't do it because they're scared of Austria as much as I'm scared of their allies. And do -do 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 done. Oh no, Lowered Heretic. Nope, done. Wait. Lowered Heretics, huh? Yeah, but like, oh, whatever. Enable army drilling. <laughs> so, army drill is increased by drilling armies and improves your regiment skill in battle. It will decay over time if reduced by units reinforcing. Oh, okay, that makes sense. May steal maps. Hallelujah. <laughs> mm. oh, that felt wonderful. Oh, barracks would be nice to fix my problems. Infantry fire and shock is really nice. They didn't change that. No, this tech has always been that good. That's ridiculously good. 
Ah, the Ottomans have entered a golden era. Ah, they're doing better than I thought they would. Um, the stories of their... Or their... their room. The hell is this even a reference to? Mark Twain. Why is every quote in American English literature attributed to Mark Twain? Yeah, this this cannot be Mark Twain. Reports of my death have been greatly exaggerated. No, no fucking way. Yeah. The expression derives from a popular form of a longer statement by the American writer Mark Twain, which appeared in the New York Journal uh, of the 2nd of June, 1897. The report of my death was an exaggeration. The correction was occasioned by newspaper accounts of Twain being ill or dead. At the time, Twain's cousin James Ross Clemens was seriously ill and wondered. Really, it was him. Man. Huh. It's like that saying, the coldest winter I ever spent was a summer in uh, San Francisco is also attributed, attributed, claim that that was Mark Twain. I, I very much doubt when people claim that a quote, quote is from Mark Twain just because of that. Uh, Wittenberg, yeah, no problem. It's just, yeah, you seem to have this well in hand. Oh, no. Hand power. Oh. Oh, God. I I saw Ravenberg's blue, and I thought that was France for a second. I'm like, ah, buddy, you are not worth this war to me. <laughs> uh, da, da, da. Guys, here's an idea. What if... Knock yourself out. Do do. That's very good. Are you actually better? Hallelujah. Yeah, I am about that. Now let's see. Friendly territory is. I am in friendly territory. Oh, I can switch it out. Sweet. You want to weigh siege that, Wittenberg? Go, go for it, man. Yeah, don't attach to me. I'm not going to siege anything in this stupid war. In the mountains, river crossing. Overall, terrible, <laughs> terrible place to go. But I'm just stack wiping because I really didn't think they could stand up to me. And they couldn't. So no biggie. Uh, I I wonder if the AI takes a um, particular hatred for the player and decide to siege down player territories with the uh, preference because the amount of troops that have suicided into trying to siege Bohemia while my armies have been out and about like over here and over here I don't get that. Maybe they're trying to be sneaky, but it just doesn't work very well and sets them up for being stack wiped. Which I guess it's fine, but what player would straight up abandon the war goal to go attack a nation really far away where they can't reinforce each other and yeah, that doesn't doesn't seem like working as intended. Although that is the way that this has been working since it came out. There we go. Got that down. Uh -huh. <clears throat> yeah, this is one more. Remarkably easy. I mean, not remarkably easy. There really wasn't much to do. Um, uh, I would love to go to war with you anybody back me 
Well, Milan wouldn't back you, and only Sienna would. Are you currently at war with anyone else? No. <laughs> okay. Note, note to self. Disable. <laughs> Check. Check. You four. It's not Christmas. Music. Gelsies. I'm pretty sure I have the Swedish Christmas music still enabled because I reinstalled that mod yesterday going, oh, why? Why? Or mod, that DLC, because why would I not have all the DLC installed? Why? Money, favors, excellent. Not really particularly useful unless I could immediately drag you into a war. Nah. I need more manpower anyway. Ugh. Bohemia really is in an interesting position in the Holy Roman Empire because they are, at least in the context of this game, Czech is positioned as being significantly culturally different than the uh, Germanic subcultures like Saxon, Franconian, Bavarian, Austrian. Uh, now, in reality, the uh, cultural borders in regions on Earth are not quite this clear cut, but it is an interesting decision to have Czech be more associated with Poland and... Oh, is he? Yeah, Silesian than the Saxon. I feel like that might be an artifact of the way that nation states actually formed in our own timeline and the way that we view cultures now, but I, I'm talking out of my ass there. I don't actually know. Um, like, the, the Czech kingdoms of Bohemia and uh, who, uh, Moravia, Great Great Moravia, Greater Moravia, was that it? Uh, one that was before it lasted for a very, very, very long time and have always had some sort of nationhood. I, I mean, um, you know, 1800s, this was part of Austria-Hungary, right? So we're part of that union and that was a very, well, in theory, German-centric union. That just happen to have some Hungarian in it. Um, it's no small wonder that Austria-Hungary fell apart for obvious reasons. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, sweet. Um, sweet. Uh, oh, 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 even better. We got to zero prestige, so now we're at negative 50 prestige. And give me a better air, please. Please. Holy shit, that's terrible. Carl, no. Oh. <laughs> I should have stuck with the first one. I shouldn't be trying to min-max this. Uh, yeah, if my manpower weren't habitually so low, I would have been at war more often, which... Thank you. Um, hmm. Yes, yeah, Ottomans, go beat up Hungary so I can get in on that knack like I did it. So your war is... Conquest of... A word I can clearly pronounce. Kiral... Fjord? Kir... Kiralifold. Kiralifold? <laughs> Somewhere in the Carpathian Mountains? Okay. Alright, cool. Um, what are your claims? J 
Just that one. Wow. Not often you see the AI go to work for just one claim. And diplomatic feedback. Yeah, you want all of Hungary. Ophelia. Austria doesn't want any. Um, yeah, let's just move on up here. And not so subtly go to war with you. I'm um, just drilling on your border. Nothing to worry about. Nah. A friend of mine is asking in that last stream why I was complaining about turn-based strategies. So the deal with uh, why I don't like turn-based strategies so much is there tends to be a correct way to play. Like there's a most efficient build order that you do. Uh, if you look at high level civ civilization play, this is especially noticeable. Like, oh, you do this and then you do this and then you do this. And it feels so program programmy and condition based that it doesn't really feel like making decisions or having to move on your feet or really analyze things tactically or strategically it feels very uh very if this then this if this then this and is monotonous in a lot of ways i almost did the thing i said i was going to try not to do and overspend on diplo so let's see let's let us see you 51 so just spend you nah i want to go below 500 so do dupe dupe there we go uh well totally lost my train of thought i was just saying Complaining that competitive or effective gameplay comes down more or less to specific build orders, which feels clunky and boring and repetitive to me. Yeah, yeah. Gnome? Yeah, man! This this is Genome. I have not been called Gnome or Genome in like, uh... And I haven't been to Indiana in like... Years? <laughs> what? It's 2017, I haven't been back there since like 2015, so I haven't been called Gnome or Genome in a while. What up? <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, now is probably the time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jesus. They're getting torn apart. Um, Bosnia. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and they won't have any allies join them. Great. Yeah. Uh, this is just kicking them when they're down, and that's how you fight wars in EU4 when you're running well on manpower. How oh, you don't run wars is by being stupid and splitting your army and letting them stack wipe it. Yeah, yeah, no, none of that. This would piss off nobody. Yeah, I'll take that. I thought that was the establish yourself as head of the church option. <laughs> um, I think this is the nearest fort. I will need to seize something down, so let's go and get Zemplin. That's the zone I want. But I already have Trench in here. Ooh, who can I call in? Austria, yeah! Yeah, just curb stomp this, please. Please. Beautiful. Um. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yeah, the, uh, the nickname Gnome or Genome came from, like, when I was a wee child. 
was that like fourth or fifth grade something like that I had a friend at the time who because of my height picked on me because of that calling me saying I was like a gnome because I was so short and you know as kids are wont to do I uh, embraced it went with it and like uh, hell yeah I you know I'm gnome and because it was early 2000s and I grew up in the 90s it was therefore cool to put a G in front of something like E unit and shit like that so instead of gnome like hold on like spelled G N O M E I went in and changed it to like G gnome so it's pronounced like G gnome which is kind of confusing saying N O M E because gnome Alaska uh, is what people associate with that the most yeah I, it's a good screen name and I use it for a very long time it's a great nickname I, most of my oldest friends call me gnome or genome or know me or y you get it <laughs> uh, I'm kind of happy to sit this out and let it go let's sit on Budapest and wait for this to get worse for Austria <clears throat> Now what I want is this, this, that, and that. Oh, and I could take it, and Hungary would be this. But I care very little for Hungary. Um, I would also like to humiliate you and get war reparations, so I could get prestige even higher. So I will probably wait for that. Hire the engineer, don't hire the engineer, hire the engineer, hire the engineer. Hmm. <clears throat> Yeah. What about Maros? Maramoros? Maramaros? <laughs> it's fun to say fast. I'm almost entirely confident I am not saying it correctly. Where are the states? Regions. Regions. Yeah, this is not part of the region that I want. Why are these colored the same way? Like, um, Paradox has done a really good job of coloring things differently, but, uh, that's a little rough. If you didn't catch that, uh, the Endless Space 2 stream earlier, it's probably worth it just to watch me start complaining more and more, talking about, like, man, it's such a pretty game, and it's so calming and chill to play, and, ah, uh, it's just really relaxing to not really think about it and just go through the motions. I'm like, wait a minute. That's not a great game. A game you want to stay, like, actively engaged with, and it needs to be fun, and, like, get you returning to its core principles and I'm like what are the core principles here like well build the right build repeat ad ignosium like ah maybe I don't actually like this game it's, which is a massive credit and I can't overstate this enough to uh, the quality of their art design and this particularly their music and audio design is that it's so soothing and enjoyable to play that it's not until you're like sitting there critically thinking about it willingly disconnecting yourself from the kind of happy haze you're in the way like, wait a minute this isn't actually that fun or rewarding it's a great game but like has some serious issues <laughs> I, I think like cardinal rule of streaming is probably to play games that you enjoy or stream something that you enjoy so me just complaining about that made it 
pretty clear pretty quickly like I was all excited to be like yeah it's the free weekend I'll stream this to try and make friends and other people more aware that it's free give it a try because the developers are really cool and I love the way they engage with their community and uh, then I just started complaining about it like oh, I gotta pull the ripcord fast <laughs> gotta get out of this is set out with the intention of like showing off how much fun it can be and then just tearing it apart repeatedly very very politely and apologetically but all the same so somebody's yes i was about to say somebody's gonna have to dip out of this war and it's not gonna be me there we go because so many of these people are my allies These territories are just going to flip to me, so I'm going to grab these. Uh, Bosnia is probably not going to want to drop out of the war until they have everything they signed up for, which I occupy, I think. What'd you go to war for? Slavonia? <laughs> just make them release that. Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty good about this. Um... Only hungry, right? Yeah, don't care. Okay, redeeming my earlier play a little bit. Not, you know, a lot, but a little bit. Um, so there we go. There's modern Czechoslovakia. <laughs> Is, wait a minute. Is Czechoslovakia... No, it's the Czech Republic and Slovakia. I am an asshole. Uh, <laughs> uh, Czechoslovakia was a uh, early 20th century entity that ceased being at the end of the cold or uh cold war yeah and i'm spelling czechoslovakia wrong too good job history major uh 92 92 it was peacefully dissolved by an act of parliament in 1993 it was separated into two independent countries the czech republic and the slovak republic, or the slovak Republic along pretty much these lines yeah it's a cool little cool little country and that sounds kind of uh little is not a good word to use uh diminu diminutive it sounds diminutive for me to say that the little part but I do come from a very very large country and that does set my frame of reference as assuming that very large is normal or whatever else. I fully recognize that that's not true. Just, it has informed my world of you. <clears throat> oh, 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 oh. That's mothball. Yeah. <sighs> God, yeah, this feels so much better. Just being in my wheelhouse and actually knowing what I'm doing in a game instead of reading text that has nothing to do with the technology it's describing. Like here, Wimber, artillery has been documented in Europe since the 13th century, but due to its lack of mobility, it had very limited battlefield use. The development of Wimber in 1470 has allowed guns to become more mobile and thus useful. So, okay, what does this do? Oh, it gives us artillery. It isn't talking about breakthroughs in, in uh, quantum technology and then that's somehow making us make food better or something like that. That's not a, the specific example, but my god, that's the hyperbolic statement I want to make about it. <laughs> Alright. Austria died. Still the emperor. Yeah, let's get married. You have the Hoyendes, which was a mistake, I think, because just sit on that for a while. Um, I think. So, uh, my capital is farmland. <laughs> Let's see. Simple terrain. Where else is farmland? Oh, terrain. Um, God. <laughs> Alright. Oh, back, back to simple terrain. Okay, so farmland. 
a lot around here actually is farmland, so that combat bonus might be good. Might be very good, in fact. Uh, hmm. Yeah, let's take that. Now, I, I'm never sure if this actually means that we'll fight better in farmland or just in the capital. I don't know. So I need, oh, the Renaissance to spread to probably these last three territories I just took, huh? All right. Yup. Okay, whatever, cool. I'm gonna pick this one, but I want to not take a loan. So I'm just going to sit and wait on it. Wait on it. <laughs> oh fuck, it defaulted to the stability one. This is what you get for talking while you play games, Alex. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, well, um, uh, well, I think military should benefit because military tech is really, blah, yeah, it's important, but, eh, eh. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I have money that I shouldn't have because I should have spent it on that event instead of getting distracted. Um, right. These are both at 900, but the tech is already 15% markup. So let's go. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that does up the production of the gold mine. So. Yeah, that's probably more than enough. Um. <laughs> Get them sweet, sweet ducats. Those. Economy destroying duck is oh god. <laughs> I need the inflation to back. <laughs> and another stability drop. Oh, because no. Fuck. <clears throat> Carl inherited the throne. I should have stuck to our original heir and not put myself in this terrible position. Oh, this is what I get. Am I coring all of these? I better be. Yeah, alright, good. At least I didn't overlook that. Ah. Uh, so, Spain just had the personal union form with... Okay, they got the full thing. France didn't steal any territory, so... This is pretty normal. They're allied to France. Oh. Fun. Ottomans are tearing apart Hungary as they should be. The Mamluks are just kind of hanging out. I kept on hearing rumors about how annoying the Mamluks were to the Ottomans in this patch and how the Ottomans got overrun so easily, but they're holding up fine. I guess I shouldn't take everything I read on Reddit to be true. Haha. <laughs> uh huh. Sure, sure, lower taxes, because it is not a big deal yet. Please, please just have some terrible vent kill off my air. Give me, give me an interregnum. I miss when interregnums were a thing, when you would die without an air, just pop into an interregnum and eventually an air would pop out. Ah, good times. 
Regency councils really have been pretty much reduced or uh, removed from the game entirely. It's probably a good call given how boring they were to play. Like, oh, okay, for the next 15 years you're just gonna sit here not able to declare war, just watching the world spin by around you. Which, to be fair, is pretty much what I'm doing now, but, you know, potato, potato. Um, I'm aware that the expression is potato, potato. It's just funnier for me when I say potato, potato, because it's same thing, same thing. Admittedly dumb. <laughs> okay. Ah. Yeah, EU4 has definitely attracted a lot more attention than, say, Endless Space did. It's a shame. Uh, I'm I'm really looking forward to playing Stars Without Number on Tuesday. That's going to be a lot of fun. And probably be a bit awkward at first as we're figuring stuff out, but that's kind of the fun of it. Is awkwardly... Slapping stuff together until it works. That sounded a little bit dirtier than I'd intended. Um, one, two, two. Ah. <laughs> uh, how long have I been up here? It says 46 minutes, but it feels longer than that. How long? Mm -hmm. Administering an empire. Bureaucrats have long favored paper over parchment and other materials. Huh. Weird. So I'm assuming... Oh, price of paper goes up. Okay. Yep. New paper event. Exhilarating. Okay, so... Let's charitably donate to the... Er, Fragon... Church... What do you want? Uh, 3.9. What do you produce? Iron. Yeah, just give it to the church. I don't want the church to have it particularly, but fine. Grain, livestock, or wine? Well, seeing as I only make gra- That's wine. Why is that so terrible? Bruno. Bruno. Bruno, what's up, buddy? Why does your production suck? Wine should be worth a fair amount. Wine's worth... What? Oh, less than iron. I thought for a second... Wine is only worth as much as grain. Wow. That seems wrong. <laughs> it's... I... Hold on. Can wine no longer be uh, plantationed? It can't. Oh, oh man. Weird. Okay. So it counts as a farm. What the hell? Okay. All right, whatever. I'm a hip, hip happening dude. I will, I will go with this. And then I have livestock somewhere. I have not seen livestock yet. Livestock, livestock, gold mine. I should be paying way more attention to what I'm taking. Cattle, 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 cattle. I realize I could have gone into the resource note and check. Okay, here they are. Livestock. Since the dawn of history, that is the worst way you can start any sentence in a history paper or history class. If if you are ever in that space, do not ever, ever start a paragraph with since the dawn of time or since the dawn of whatever. It's the most cliche nonsense, but they're not academically invested, so that's okay. The care for domesticated animals has been one of the main occupations of humanity. This reads is like a, a high schooler's introductory statement or uh, sentence to a history paper since the dawn of time cows have been important to humanity um livestock includes everything from cows and horses seriously paradox you gotta get on this comma game cows and horses in rich agricultural areas oh 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 uh, yeah, <laughs> includes everything from cows and horses in rich agriculture areas to the herds and pastoralists of the Great Plains and deserts of the world. 
That sentence needs some serious restructuring. That grammar is all kinds of confusing. So, like, everything from cows and horses is long enough or is too long already. Adding in the enriched agricultural areas is superfluous. Unnecessary, but what? Whatever, I don't know why I'm on such a grammar kick today. I shouldn't, I should really just go, go edit things. It's probably because I've been writing so much for, uh, for Tuesday, for our upcoming game. Because I've been writing so many notes on it, I've been aware of my own terrible grammar habits. So that's probably why I'm in the headspace to harass some of my favorite game developers about theirs. Now, Paradox has some really, 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 really good... I like how I'm referencing Stockholm when I'm talking about Paradox. Really good uh, localization teams. And their, their English tends to be pretty good. But it's still a pretty small dev team, and typos are kind of notorious in the Paradox communities for hanging around a bit longer than they uh, perhaps should. <laughs> Alright, goodbye, Hungry. It's been nice. Been, been good to know you. You're still my rival, right? I'm hoping that they stay my rival when I get to attack them. God, this air sucks. <laughs> oh, no longer a valid rival. I had to mention it. Alright, so Austria, you don't hate me. Poland, you don't hate me. Who hates me? Bavaria. But Denmark doesn't anymore. So Poland, I want stuff from. So I'm going to rival Poland. Particularly because Muscovy's a good potential ally. And good, the Ottomans are on my fucking doorstep. Okay. Alright. That's fun. So I'm just going to pop in here say show feedback i think polish territories go oh no doop 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 doop, doop. nope not what i meant to do doop 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 nope game not trying to open it i think yeah i want those because they are in the same culture group as is designated here and where is it thing of different culture, a non-accepted culture, gives... There we go. Yeah. How many accepted cultures? Oh, one out of two. So I have Saxon accepted, but it would be smart for me to take... Silesian is the same group, so this is only minus 15, whereas... Go back. Take a look here. It's minus 30. 3 or 20, it's significantly higher than this. This is only minus 15%. So, if you are going around, probably better to make this accepted because you're already getting... Uh, it depends on how wealthy these are, and there's gold down here, so smart money is doing that. Yeah. <clears throat> and also, getting rid of Saxon. And embracing Silesian because I don't plan on expanding in Saxony anytime soon, but I do eventually, so eh, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll make a decision on that later. <clears throat> For now, though, I think I'm going to finish out this year. I really should set timers for uh, an hour so I can keep these consistent. Five minute breaks every hour or so rather than just arbitrary oh hey regency council is it it's so much better it is so much better than that lady okay but i don't think regency councils can declare war which is the uh the offset so england make friends with get get diplo points gotcha death of a merchant i like money i also like prestige so i can get rid of this terrible ruler as quickly as possible do too. Yep, Renaissance thought. Cool. Renaissance thought lets me pop up. So, okay, he is best at diplomacy. So I'm probably gonna be struggling keeping up with military and particularly admin. Um 
I would love humanist ideas for this idea cost reduction. Trade would be kind of okay because the trade situation is so murky where I am. Quality or quantity or offensive would be really, really good, but like I said, I'm worried about just having enough. So trade might get me more money, which would help me keep uh, my tech up to date. Yeah, so we'll do that. So he's collecting here. We're earning 5.5 a month. There is September, October, November, December. I got on the first. The autosave helps out a lot. Yeah, let's save that. Leave this up. So I'm not actually going to kill the stream. I might kill the recording while I run off. But what I am going to do is I'm going to open up OBS. I'm going to say, I want you to pull up an image. Go browsing for that image. Oh, I should have had the setup already. But I am lazy. Open. Yeah. Um, scale that. And... Right, because I'm streaming in 720p instead of 1080, this won't look exactly right. Bang, good enough. So, 